basically get a, a snapshot at the time that all these critters were dying. I think of this as the, the paleontological discovery of the century. Essentially what you're looking at is a cross section of what was alive at the time and you're looking at a moment-by-moment -moment record of conditions right after impact. Massive earthquakes, immense landslides, and tsunamis or tidal waves that radiated across the Gulf of Mexico basin. And for those of us in the United States, incursions of floodwaters up on the continent. The Palma pried out the region of the gills and there was a collection of tectites stuck in the gills right there on the spot. And from then on, I was totally convinced that he had something fantastic in that area. So what we see is these ejected beads, these ejected spirals, caught in the gills of the fish. So that shows that most of these fish were alive right up until the time that they were buried in the mud. They were entombed relatively instantaneously. That's why they're so well preserved and three-dimensionally preserved. And that's how we know that this was a very rapid event. This site and the research actually directly applies to what we've got going on today because this impact is one of our only test beds to see how the world ecology responds to major natural hazards and extinction level events. There are lots and lots of open questions to answer all the beautiful observations we have. We are now just at the beginning. <laughs>